Whenever, when I put a mark like that right there, my eye is going, here's this, here's her nose, here's where that hits over there. I'm doing, you know, cross-coordinating with every, every mark. I aim my shots. And um, I look at the direction of things based on the squareness of the canvas. In other words, I feel that arm is pointing kind of like that, and then the shoulders are like that, the head is like that in relation to this square. So that's how I render, and that's about the long and the short of my rendering. Um, I don't take an academic and very um, anatomical view of rendering when I do the figure. I treat it the same way I would if it was a, a tree or an apple or a pear or a fence or a cloud. It's one process. And um, you can study anatomy all you want and even dissect and work with cadavers and know the musculature of the human body from head to toe and still not be able to render worth a hoot. I render with the final painting in mind. I render as an oil painter. I'm not interested in skeletal drawings and perspective drawings only in so far as they affect the painting. And um, most of my preoccupation is in coordinating the big shapes and their transitions and in uh, capturing the effect of light. And I, I've spent a lifetime doing that and I just about uh, don't have any energy for anything else. Um, that's enough.